Hello, I'm Rima Balinkaya. I'm the head of knowledge management at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and one of the contributors to the Odyssey Oncology War Group. Today, I'm going to present to you the result of the work of the Oncology War Group in 2020, OMOP Oncology Module at Work Part 2. At the 2019 Odyssey Symposium, I presented the OMOP Oncology Module, an extension of the CDM and standardized vocabularies that enables observational cancer research. I spoke on behalf of a group of eight enthusiasts who dedicated three years to tackle this Herculean task without even realizing the scope and challenges. I complain a bit about the boring nature of this work, but committed to complete it and invited data scientists and epidemiologists to roll their sleeves and work um, on the exciting part of this effort, which is the development of methods and algorithms that would help answer critical research questions. Today, I'm speaking on behalf of a group of, of enthusiasts so large that I no longer know everyone's name as whose pictures no longer fit one slide. And I'm so excited to report the results of this effort. Not only the foundational CDM and vocabulary work was expanded greatly, but real cancer data from tumor registers and electronic health records from regular and specialized cancer hospitals, including my own Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, successfully landed on this new foundation. Some exciting algorithms were developed and applied to extract critical knowledge from the data. And most importantly, this data served to support real research, including COVID and cancer studies. If you imagined a hypothetical journey of a cancer patient through the course of their disease, this is how it might look, beginning with the initial diagnosis of cancer that has not yet spread, first surgery and radiotherapy treatments, subsequent remission, progression to an invasive disease, genetic analysis of the tumor, subsequent lines of treatments, periods of remission, progression and stable disease, and eventually palliative care and end of life events. We modeled and scoped the roadmap of our roadmap of our effort to be able to represent the journey in OMAP. This is how it looked at the end of the last year. We extended OMAP representation of diagnosis to include multiple diagnostic attributes or modifiers that uniquely define cancer diagnosis and determine patients' prognosis and treatments. We integrated several specialized cancer vocabularies in the OMOP standardized vocabularies, including ICD-03 and NACER. This year, our vocabulary and genomic subgroups have completed the work on the diagnostic cancer attributes. They brought, brought together and reconciled clinical and pathological attributes of cancer from the major cancer standards and vocabularies. And created one unified cancer modifier vocabulary. Somatic mutations from four major genomic databases and three vocabularies were integrated into one, one uniform ontology. They include variants at, at the genomic protein and transcript levels covering uh, deletions, insertions, substitutions, fusions, and translocations. This vocabulary will support analysis of tumor biomarkers and ETL passage from various representation of the source data. Last year, we introduced a new episode model. Episodes represent clinically relevant disease and treatment obstructions like episode of progression or treatment regimen. 
these abstractions are critical to answering key research questions such as time to progression, response to treatment and others. This year we added designated episode vocabulary and conventions for defining episodes. This is how episodes describing disease spread from confined to invasive to metastatic. And that's how they are represented in the episode table, immediately enabling answering questions like time to metastatic disease. Last year, we developed and tested vocabulary driven ETL from US tumor registry to OMAP CDM. This year, the ETL was productized and used to transform tumor registry data of four participating institutions, including my own Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. A subset of the OMAP converted data was already used in COVID cancer research studies at MSK. There has been a lot of interest in the oncology module in the community. To help adoption of the model, we held a European Oncology Module Workshop. We're also very excited about the full day oncology tutorial with more than 100 participants broadcasted in the US, European and Asian time zones. And we are so happy and grateful to have received the news before the tutorial about acceptance of our publication on this work in a special series of the Journal of Clinical Oncology. Overall, it has been a good and productive year for the oncology work group. Our roadmap has turned colors from mostly yellow to mostly blue and green indicated lots of accomplished work and work in progress. But most importantly, we can now support answering some important research question in a distributed Odyssey research network. In the lightning talk following mine, Asya Gazar will show you how it has been done in a characterization, characterization study of patients with metastatic bladder cancer. The job is not done though, and as I did last year, I'm inviting you to join the effort and help facilitate cancer research. Thank you, and with that, I'm passing the baton to Asya.